You guys, I have a major dog hair problem in my house, and it's all Marty's fault. But can this beast tame this beast? Today we're gonna find out. Hey, it's Nick with Digital Trends, and today we're going to take a look at this, the Narwhal Frio X Ultra. This is a brand new high-end robot vacuum and mop that we had a chance to check out at CES this year. But now I've had it in my house, I've been using it for a few weeks, and I'm excited to show you how it works in the real world. Before we dive in, I want to mention that this video is sponsored by Narwhal, but they had no say in the content. So these are my honest first impressions of the Frio X Ultra after spending some time with it. But we don't do sponsored reviews at Digital Trends, so if you want to read a full rundown of everything this bot does, check out the written review linked in the description. Let's talk about how this robot stacks up to the competition. It costs $1,400, so it compares to other high-end robot vacs like the $1,800 Roborock S8 Max V Ultra, which isn't out yet, and the Roomba Combo J9 Plus, which goes for about $1,000. With any of them, you get vacuuming, you get mopping, and you get a base station that cleans the mops, empties the dirty mop water, and refills the clean water. There's just one thing the Frio X Ultra doesn't do, which is empty dirt and dust into its base station. But as we'll get into in a bit, there's a good reason for that. Narwhal has found a clever workaround that, frankly, works a lot better than I thought it would. One of this vacuum's biggest competitors is actually its predecessor, the Narwhal Frio. So I brought that model into the studio so we can compare these two side by side. As you can see, there's really not a lot of difference at first glance. Both are modern, clean looking robot vacuums. When I spoke to Narwhal at CES, they actually mentioned that making this thing white was a very intentional choice to set it apart from the pack. And I think they succeeded. This is one of very few robot vacuums you can actually identify from a distance. But the features that set it apart from its predecessor, those are tougher to spot. So let's dig in. Let's start on the outside. You really have to pay close attention to see what's going on here. But take a look at this. The cutouts for the sensors on the front and side are bigger on the Frio X Ultra because there's much more going on inside. While the prior model used infrared for object detection, this model uses lasers. Each panel has a laser beneath, in addition to the spinning LiDAR sensor up top. So there's now three lasers in this thing. What does that mean? It's crazy nimble. Watching this thing navigate a maze of chair legs is an experience. The side sensor can detect how close it is to an obstacle down to the millimeter so it tracks incredibly accurately around obstacles. This is a really big deal. Unless you wanna clean your home before you clean your home, you're going to have some obstacles laying around. Better sensors mean it still cleans around the edges and you don't need to pre-clean. Well, except for shoelaces and cables, still pick those up. We haven't found a Robovac yet that won't gobble them up. Pop the lid on this vac and you'll notice one of the biggest revisions, an all new dustbin design. You might look at this and think it looks almost exactly the same. How could this new design possibly be any better? but I've found it makes a huge difference for pet hair. The narrow design of the old dustbin used to clog with dog and cat hair, sometimes to the point that I'd open it and find a little accordion of hair falling out. Not anymore. The square design helps it really breathe, and less dirt and dust falls into the bottom of the vacuum when you go to change it. The real innovation here is Narwhal's dust compaction. I mentioned that the Frio X Ultra doesn't deposit dust in its base station, so what does it do with it? When it gets back to the base station, a powerful blower actually slams into the dustbin and forces all of the junk into one corner, making room for more. Now look, I was extremely skeptical of this given my dog hair situation at home, but it does work. One sweep of my house used to fill the old Narwhal to maximum capacity. Now I can run three or four in a row before it looks like it needs to be emptied. Narwhal claims it can run for about seven weeks without emptying, which might be the case for non-pet owners, but either way, it's dramatically better. If you really want to stay clean, Narwhal also offers these disposable dust bags. I'm not a fan of adding more disposable stuff into my life, but if you don't like that little plume of dust that happens when you empty a conventional dustbin into the garbage, I get it. You also get a clean filter every time you replace one of these. I prefer to just blow out my filters with an air compressor. Flip the Frio X Ultra over and you see the other main innovation here. There's an anti-tangling beater brush. If you've ever snipped hair out of one of these, you know what a problem it can be. That's because once a piece of hair gets coiled up around a conventional brush, it has nowhere to go. It just spins and spins until it's absolutely tied around this thing. One more thing to manually fix. Narwhal's brush is more like a cone. It'll still pick up the hair, but the design migrates it to the free-floating end of the brush, where it gets sucked up. Narwhal showed us a demo of this at CES, which is frankly way better than what I can show you here, and it looked awesome. But of course, how does it work in real life? As it turns out, great. This is the brush as it looks right out of the vacuum after several weeks of use. I haven't cleaned anything off of here. My wife has long hair, and it definitely used to get bound up in the old Narwhal. Not anymore. Now we just need Narwhal to make a solution for shower drains. There's one more thing I can't show you, and that's vacuum pressure. 
The Narwhal Frio X Ultra has a lot more of it. It produces 8,200 pascals, while the old model produced just 3,000 pascals. That's almost triple the suction, and it really shows on carpets, where it seemed to lift more hair and dirt than the old model did. I also have a cat, and I've noticed it does a great job with kitty litter, which is heavy, and needs a good boost to lift it off the floor. So I've got to show you one place where the Frio X Ultra actually moved a little bit backwards, which is this display screen. The old one had this bubbly little Frio character, and it was maybe a little bit goofy, but it worked well. You can choose exactly what you wanted without using your phone. The new model distills it down to just four options. It looks a lot cleaner, but it doesn't give you all the options you need. For instance, I can't specify that I'd like it to just vacuum. It'll only vacuum and mop. As a result, I end up using my phone more. Speaking of my phone, the app is basically unchanged. It does a nice job mapping your home, but I still wish it sent alerts when it got hung up on something like a charging cable. Guys, I hope you enjoy this tour and first impressions of everything that's new with the Narwhal Frio X Ultra. If you did, hit this video with a like. And of course, there's a lot more to it. So check out our written review at digitaltrends.com. We've got the link down in the description. We'll see you on the next one.